Hi, this is Suzanne and this is Claudio and from Agent Republic and you know last time we talked about the psychology around when the market might be getting tough or anything in your business that's yeah. getting tough and we said what can you do from a mindset perspective but ultimately success comes down to 80% psychology and 20% strategy. So what could the guys do from a strategic perspective to actually get themselves out there more, get themselves in front of more people? What do yeah, you Yeah, I, I think what this is what you need to do in this market yeah. right now. If listings are tight right in this market, you know, the cheap agents, all they go for their toolbox right now is cheap commission and, you know, no marketing or things like that. Those sort of gimmicky things. Yeah. I think you can really separate yourself against the other agents in the marketplace. Firstly, think of it like this. You would probably see if you had like two red pens right here and this guy was like $2, this guy was a dollar. I mean, at the end of the day, who are you gonna go for? Really, it's gonna be about going to the cheap guy because there's really is no difference. I'll go for the dollar. If you're a Mont Blanc, right, now a lot yeah. of you agents out there <laughs> right with those, you're a Mont Blanc and you had a red pen and this is worth like $500, this is worth like a dollar. But really, a Mont Blanc, you can see a lot of value in that. What it's gonna yes. come down to, Susie, is bringing massive amount of value. Mm. A couple of things that I would probably do in this marketplace to separate yourself against the competition, all those degrees of separation. Yeah. First off is, by adding more value, is you could do, if you haven't got many listings right now in this marketplace, offer to open homes on a Saturday. So the way I would probably pitch that or, or position that to some of your clients would be something along the lines of, Tom, you don't mind being a vendor, do you? Yeah, he's nodding his head, he's saying good, good. So for example, Tom, it's Claudio calling here. Um, I've been thinking a little bit about your home and there's another five homes in Neutral Bay right now that are in direct competition to yours. And I really want to separate your home against the other homes. One of the things that I think would work really well so we can drive more buys through your home and drive a premium price would be to have two opens. One in the morning, say for example, 10 to 10.30, where we get the local buyers coming in and probably something in the afternoon between 1 and 1.30 where we get the out of area buyers. So we're getting both buyers coming in and even those buyers that come in the morning will probably come for a second inspection with a loved one or a family member to look at that property. And all of a sudden, by that afternoon, Mr. Tom, our vendor, you could be getting offers on your home. But what is it doing against the other competition? They're all doing one open right now. Why don't you offer two? And then position it in a way that actually allows the vendor to understand that this is a benefit to me. Because they're looking for the feature and benefit in all of this. So there is just a, one degree of separation that you could add, but I would say, Susie, it's all about adding masses of amount of value. And I think the other thing too is it's about being, you know, look at your marketing as well. Like marketing that actually connects. So think about your ideal client, rather than just putting out the mass produced generic, I'm a real estate agent marketing, which everyone is doing, start to look at your marketing material and say, how can I be a bit more unique and how can I stand out? And again, how do I add value? So it's looking at, think about your ideal, your ideal vendor or whoever you want and say, okay, this is the person that I really want, what would speak to them? What would it connect with them? Because people will connect with you first emotionally, then they back it up with logic. So you want to make sure that you have both. And you mentioned before about features and benefits. So you've got to make sure that you're covering Absolutely. both. Yep. Yeah, without a doubt. Be the Mont Blanc, don't be the red pen. Yeah, don't, don't compete <laughs> they don't on price. Don't look price. cheap, don't look don't, cheap. Oh, commission, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't compete on commission. <sighs> that's my commission Yeah, exactly breath. right. <laughs> <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> truth is though, if you compete against that, then you're always going to be a red pen, a plastic big yes. red pen, yes. and you don't want to do that because as soon as you, you know, we're talking about standards in a previous video, if you drop um, about commission, you compete on that level, then you're always going to be that kind of agent. And so it's about, hey, elevate yourself so that they don't even look at you compared to everybody else. Absolutely. Put some comments down below. See you next time. <laughs> so if you liked this video, make sure you share it. And where can the guys find us? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And also too, stay tuned because we will be launching our Agent Republic podcast and we'll be coming to you live every morning at 5am um, on our Agent Republic Facebook page. Don't forget to be awesome.